like grenades being thrown, the enemy has hoped to overwhelm you with one attack after another. Do not fall for his trap. Where he would have you think that your faith has been empty and without power, it is the exact opposite. Your faith has been working to move mountains and your perseverance is breaking through the tumult. You are winning. It is your declarations of healing and liberty that are working and causing the enemy to panic. He sees the breakthroughs on the horizon. Hey everyone, this is Wanda Alger, and today is July 5, 2024. We are celebrating freedom this weekend. I hope that you're having a good holiday. I wanted to share with you an encouraging word that I got this morning uh, when I was uh, spending some time with the Lord. I don't know about you, but I have felt like constant distractions, constant uh, threats and attacks of the enemy. I overcome one thing, and then it's like something else comes on the heels. And I know I'm not the only one. Many are sharing similar uh, frustrations. And as I went before the Lord this morning, he gave me a really encouraging word that I know is going to encourage you to stand steady. Okay. Our faith is working. All right. But before I share this word, three quick things. I'm going to be in Lair, North Dakota at the Prairie Bible Camp again, July 19 and 20. Uh, for a women's uh, retreat there. Would love to have you join me if, if you're around. I know it's way out there in the prairie, but hey, that's where pioneers go when something new is happening. So there's still time uh, to register yet this weekend if you're interested in, in joining us. Uh, the details are at wandaalger.me and I'll put the link below. Actually, Bobby is coming with me on this trip because they have a special community service that Sunday morning and he's going to be bringing that message. So again, uh, if you're close by to North Dakota, or even if you're not, last year we had someone drive 14 hours just to come. So uh, we'd love to see you there. Then this weekend, there's a special offer that I made to my subscribers, 25% uh, off of any resource in, in my online uh, bookstore at wandaalger.me. I'm going to extend it to you. This is good until Sunday evening, July 8, Eastern Time, midnight, 25% off of anything that you find uh, at my uh, bookstore, wandaalger.me, all right? And then the other thing that I wanted to tell you about, some of you who are on YouTube here, you're not aware that there's a community tab on my channel. And I have been posting various things on there. And if, if you don't, if you're not subscribed and if, if you don't hit that notification bell, you'll never know about it. But if you go on YouTube, uh, you'll see here, uh, depending upon what device you're on, the home, videos, shorts, playlists. But then right here, this community tab, well, that's where you, we can post things uh, that I, I might not want to make a video. I just want to share something. And sure enough, I did that a couple of days ago. I shared a word there. People can respond. I do sometimes share the blogs that I have and even things that I post over on X or Twitter. I also put on here and uh, get get some interaction there. So, hey, if you are not subscribed, uh, then please do so so that you can get those messages that I share on the community tab. Okay, so this word uh, that I got this morning, I'm just going to read it to you, and you will be able to find a, a written copy of this at wandaalger.me. I'm putting this out on my blog today. Terror and dread has fallen upon them. For those who have felt under constant attack, and are questioning the status of your warfare, know that the seeming setbacks and system failures are actually indicators of your soon incoming victory. The principalities and powers attacking this nation are trembling. They are in panic mode. Attacking both collectively and personally, they would have us think that all our systems are breaking down because of failure on our part. But it is only because God's redemptive work is at hand. It is the mighty arm of the Lord that is at work and accomplishing his purposes. He is resetting every system according to his original design and standard. Where the enemy has tried to circumvent God's order and establish his own systems of death and destruction, the right hand of the Lord is raised against our foes. It is the mighty arm of God that is about to fall on his enemies and crush every plot and plan devised against us. Exodus 15, 16 says, terror and dread fall upon them. Because of the greatness of your arm, they are still as a stone till your people, O Lord, pass by. Yes, troubles assail and warfare has intensified, but it is not, it, but it is because terror and dread has fallen upon the enemies of God. 
the ongoing threats and attacks against those who fear God are merely indicators of the fall about to happen. The constant distractions to cause doubt and fear are only last minute attempts to stop kingdom declarations from manifesting in full color. As the enemy assails and presents troubles of many kind, remember that these are not problems to be fixed, but distractions to deny. For many, a spirit of infirmity has plagued the body through a myriad of illnesses and ailments, hoping to weaken the resolve of the faithful. Like grenades being thrown, the enemy has hoped to overwhelm you with one attack after another. Do not fall for his trap. Where he would have you think that your faith has been empty and without power, it is the exact opposite. Your faith has been working to move mountains, and your perseverance is breaking through the tumult. You are winning. It is your declarations of healing and liberty that are working and causing the enemy to panic. He sees the breakthroughs on the horizon. Do not give in to the voices that challenge your standing with the Lord. Do not listen to those whispers that question your right or authority to take the stand that you do. In your weakness, he is strong. For our victory does not lie in our human attempts to heal ourselves or our mental prowess in answering the charges. No. Our victory lies in the finished work of the cross and the access to kingdom authority awarded to us on the day of his resurrection. He has given us authority over the enemy, not because of our work, but his. It is not by human will or strength that this war is being won. It is by faith in him alone and the power of his right hand to accomplish that which he has spoken. He will not be denied. His word has already been settled and his people have remained steadfast. Seated at his right hand, we are crushing Satan beneath our feet as the king is making our enemies a footstool. Do not allow the symptoms of your situation to dictate your faith. Do not allow the pain and discomfort to determine your resolve. You are winning this battle by continuing to stand and not yielding. Your faith in the unseen is cutting through the fog of war and is overtaking the enemy. Make no mistake, the enemies of God are trembling, for they know their time is short. Demons are squealing, and principalities are falling because the people of God are taking ground and possessing their promise, and it will not be undone. Psalm 14, 5, they are in great terror, for God is with the generation of the righteous. This is the promise that we have. God is at work. And if you feel like you have been under attack constantly, a lot of them are distractions. This is what the Lord told me this morning. They're distractions because we, we can get in this mode of what am I going to do about this? And I've got to fix this. And, and we can get in fear. And the Lord says, listen, your faith is working. Much of it is simply in standing. I mean, that's what scripture says. After having done all stand and in the intense warfare that we're in, this is what I believe the Lord is saying. Stand fast in your faith and know it is working. Our symptoms, they don't always tell the truth. And you know, we're going to face hardships. We already have, and we might not be done, but that hasn't changed what God has determined. And we are winning. And so if you feel like you have been under attack, like those grenades have been coming at you left and right, and especially for those of you who have been battling physical problems and issues, I, I hear from so many who are, I believe it is because of the very promise of God for the healing that he is bringing. I know within our own church body, so many are, are dealing with health issues. I mean, seemingly at, at levels we've never dealt with before. And we know it's because God has promised our house to be a house of healing. So whatever it is that you are contending for, whatever area that the enemy seems to be fighting against you the most is probably the area that God has gifted and anointed you the greatest. So stand fast. Yeah, the enemy's scared because we're winning, because his time is short. So please take courage. Be encouraged and encourage one another. I'd love to hear your comments on how the Lord has encouraged your faith and told you to continue to stand. It is so critical in this hour. Again, if you'd like a written copy of this, be sure to go to wandaalger.me 
and subscribe for my real-time alerts. When you do that, you'll get the word as soon as I post it. It will go directly to your inbox. If you don't want that, you can also sign up for my weekly newsletter uh, that I send out once a week. And in that, I share everything I've posted that week, both written and in videos. And I share a lot more about upcoming speaking engagements, resources, all of that. So that's available as well. They're all free. We need to continue to stand fast together. Uh, as the months unfold, uh, the warfare probably will increase. But just remember, it's because we're winning. We've won. Amen.